Oh, well, and I thought I'd let you take a look here under the transaxle since we have easier access to it. And unfortunately, I got a significant leak. It's completely covered under there and very wet. And so I don't know where it's leaking really. I think I'd like, might like to just get the pressure washer out and clean this off. And after having cleaned it, might have a better view of where that leak is originating from. Hi guys, this is Buck Weezer. Welcome to Buck's Small Engine DIY channel on YouTube and I am talking to you today about my Wheel Horse 416.8. It's got a transmission leak and uh, I might have mentioned this to you before but I, went to the, I figured out what it is and it's just really interesting and I wanted to, to bring you in on what's going on. So it was covered with oil, and I, I, I stayed, I, I cleaned it off thoroughly, drained the old uh, gear oil, and added new. So I thought, within a week's time or so, uh, you know, I'll just drive it around a little bit, and I'll figure out where the oil is leaking from. Turns out I don't have to even wait that long. So. I've removed the tire, rear tire on the right side, and then I removed the input shaft pulley. All right, no big drama there, and I've found the oil leak. And I'm not sure what to make of it. It's, uh, this belt's out of the way. It, it's right down here. It's not coming out of the shaft seal where I might have expected, but out of the side of the out of side of the case there are these plugs and I don't know exactly what they are. I want to call them freeze plugs. They can't possibly be that. But that's where it's coming out and it's just so strange. Let's see if I can give you a close up here of that. Um so you see this here? just wipe it off and there must be some kind of pinhole rust right here at the bottom of this seal and within moments you can see it coming out and uh, you know I had filled the trans I filled the transaxle with gear oil a couple hours ago came out now took off the tire and I had a it was a substantial leak within just a couple hours time and I don't know if you can tell but right there it's starting to get moist again it's coming out right there a small hole at the base of that plug now I don't know if those plugs can be removed and replaced I don't know what purpose they serve can you see it right above my finger it's getting wet again that's it and uh, the light of my flashlight kind of makes it shine a little bit. Focus for you. Well, you can see it's shining there, right here, because it's getting wet. Wet things are shiny. So I don't, I don't want to, well, I guess I should go online and do a little research. I don't know what those plugs are. And I don't know if they can be pulled out and replaced. I have half a mind to simply drain the fluid again. Dry this off so that, you know, it's not leaking anymore because there's no more fluid in the trans transaxle. And just kind of plug it with some JB Weld or putty like that. I think that might be all I need to do. Yeah, you can see it's starting to, to pull up there at the bottom of that lip. Can you see that? Yeah. And then it'll just start running down here and then cover the bottom of the transaxle and fall of course to the ground whatever the lowest point might be. So yeah it's pretty strange. I, uh, I'm actually kinda happy that I found it. I thought it was gonna be a seal, maybe this seal here or on the brake drum on the other side. I thought it might have been the axle seals, but they don't seem to be leaking. It seems to be this plug. I'll call it a plug. I don't know what it's for. I don't know if I can replace it. 
I'm gonna look into that but I might just fix it with some some putty could fill in that whole thing with putty maybe and hope that does the trick for me all right I'll come back to you and show you the fix when I get when I decide what I'm going to do okay so we're back here with the uh, transmission here and and what I learned is these aren't simply caps these are these are needle bearings and the shaft on which the gears ride you know sits here and here and uh, those are those are needle bearings and they can't be easily replaced without removing the transmission and opening it up halving it and doing something of a rebuild which I am not inclined to do at all at this point now I've drained the I've drained the gear uh, oil out of it so I think now there's no more fluid, you know, there's no pressure of the fluid in the case pushing it out. And what I want to do is just a stopgap measure. This tractor has over 2200 hours and just want to stop that, that leak. I don't have any reason to believe that the bearing itself has failed. Uh, I just want to stop that, that pinhole leak right there where the cover must have rusted off or something. And see if we can forestall a rebuilding of the transmission, which I'm not inclined to do. So what I want to do is I'm going to clean it off as best I can, with some brake clean or whatever, and I'm just going to take some, some black <clears throat> RTV sealant, and just fill it in around this rim for the time being, with the hope that that will uh, seal the leak. And we'll get to use the, it'll keep the transmission dry. Yeah, so that's all I'm gonna do. You can see that hole right there. See a little hole right at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll just let it sit overnight, refill the case tomorrow, and try it out. Okay. And I think I'm just going to try and put some around the lip the entire way around if I can All right. Guess I fingered it enough. Let's leave it at that, and uh, we'll um, I'll bring you back in a couple of days and let you know if it worked. I think that's going to work. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, well, it's been uh, it's been an hour or two since I refilled the transmission with gear oil, and uh, happily, looks like our our uh, silicone is dry and is not leaking anymore. 
Hope you can see that. Yeah, so before it was just coming out by the force of gravity of the fluid inside the transmission and now it's not coming out at all. So I feel like I may have dodged a bullet here and got come up with an easy fix, an easy hack. I can go ahead and put the uh, a drive pulley back up in place and the belt, put the wheel back on and uh, take it for a ride and hopefully it'll stay nice and dry.